Hello, my name is Kevin Lowe, and I'm going to show you the basic procedures for field stripping the Colt 1911, which includes uh, other makes and brands, all the clones, they're all basically the same, the mechanism is the same. Now, the first thing you need to do, all of you, you need to slide the slide back, check to see if this gun is in battery, that is, if there's a round in the barrel right here. Now I'm going to look. There's not one in there. You probably can't see very well, but I, could, I can confirm that there's no shell in there. If there was one in there, that's bad news. Now this is elementary for a lot of you. For the rest of you, maybe not, but that's the big deal for any weapon, especially a semi-automatic like this one, because you can't tell if it's loaded unless you do this. Okay, here's what you'll need for stripping and cleaning and reassembly of the 1911. First, a cleaning rod for swabbing the barrel, a screwdriver for getting into hard to reach places, a small metal device, in this case it's a small file for getting in the small holes for the extractor and the firing pin, gun solvent and gun oil, cleaning patches, and in this case, you don't have to use one of these. On this gun, I do like to use it, and that's a Brownells barrel bushing turner and also a Brownells slide stop tool. And I'll show you how that works later. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is slide the slide. Bring it back like this. Get rid of the magazine. And we're going to line up this little notch here with the slide stop. Right there and on the other side you punch through with your finger to where this comes loose and just remove the slide stop. Okay now I'm going to remove the barrel bushing so I can get the recoil spring out and then we'll take the slide off. Now with most of your guns Possibly you can do this with just your fingers, your thumbs. This one's very stiff. The spring's really taut. So I use this Brownells tool that fits on top like this. And I'm going to push down and move this clockwise like this and keep my hands on it. Or this spring will come up and hit you in the face. But here comes the recoil spring. And here's the recoil spring guide rod that just kind of falls out. It has nothing to hold it at that point. Okay, now I can take the barrel out. Let's get the barrel bushing the rest of the way off of here and you can see this one's a tight fit. Some of them don't have this extension here and they're a little easier to go. So just get this loop here laying flat and then just pull the barrel out. like so. Okay, next we're going to remove the striker and the extractor. You can see the striker is going through this base plate here. The extractor fits in right here. This wedge has a groove and it fits into here. But the first thing we're going to do is remove the striker so we can get to the extractor. So if you push down on the striker like this, and if you've got a good fingernail or another device, you can see how that slides down. And this is another spring activated device, so you want to make sure that that little spring doesn't pop out too far. So this is where something like a screwdriver, be careful not to scratch the bluing. And I'm just going to push this the rest of the way down. And you can see here's the striker and the spring. Here's the plate that came out. Okay, and you can see here, this is the extractor. And I'm going to use this screwdriver. And, of course, be careful again. I haven't found any brass screwdrivers, so I'm going to use this one. Just reach in there and kind of get it started. It's pretty easy to come out, generally. And then just pull it out. Here's the extractor. Here's where it grabs the bullet, right here. 
You can see in these channels here where the striker and the extractor were, and you can see that it would be nice to clean that area. Maybe not every time you field strip, but I would recommend cleaning this at least once and see how it goes. Okay, now we're going to clean these two tunnels with some solvent. and I've cut a patch in two so there's not so much uh, material to clog it up. But this is when I use this uh, tool here. You can see it'll ram it in. But be careful if you're using a file like this. You don't want to actually file anything. Just get kind of lubed first. that and maybe with a sharper end it'll go in a little easier. There we go. Now we'll do the same with the uh, striker tunnel. Set this over it. Just a little bit, get some action going. Don't push it in too far or you'll lose the patch and you'll have to kind of try to dig it out. Okay, so now I'm going to use a dry patch and wipe out what I just put in there. Twist it around a little bit and get it out. Now I'm just going to clean the gun. I'm not going to make you watch me do this in real time, but essentially you're going to use some solvent on all the parts and with a swab, and then you're going to use a dry swab and clean it, wipe it off. Same thing with the barrel. I'm going to run this with the rammer through here with a cloth with solvent. Then I'll attach this brush in there and brush it in and out many times, at least 20 times in and out, clean it. Then after all that's done, I'm going to oil all the parts. So let's get started. Now I'm going to reinstall the extractor and the firing pin with the firing pin stop and this has to be done to where this edge matches up with this edge and it's pretty precision made so it has to be perfectly lined up which sometimes isn't easy so the extractor goes in first that. Then the firing pin, make sure the spring is still on it. Then I'm going to push this down like so. I think my extractor is not lined up right, so I'll keep trying here. And there it goes. It popped right in. And you can see it's all installed. Now I'm going to replace the barrel, the recoil spring, and the spring guide into the slide. Just make sure this ring is flat. that. Set the guide rod in like this. You can see how it's hemispherical here on my thumb to the barrel like that. And 
get the spring started on it. Like so. Now we're going to put the slide back onto the receiver. And you notice I've got the hammer back up. I didn't want to keep that on the uh, spring too long. And always be careful not to dry fire with that slide off because it has nothing to hit that might damage it. You can dry fire it all you want when this is reassembled. So what I do is I hold it upside down, let the grooves just slide in like that. The slide is now on and we're ready to reinstall this plug on top of the recoil spring and also the barrel bushing. I'm going to go ahead and slide this barrel bushing down on the barrel and as I pointed out earlier this is a really tight barrel bushing Get it over clockwise like that. And I'll be using my special Brownells tool once I get this down like this. So there's a lot of uh, tension on this spring, so be careful because it can pop up and get you in the eye. Okay, I've got it somewhat started, so now I'm going to use this and finish it like that. Now the slide's back on, but now we're going to reinstall the slide stop. It goes through this hole, through the link dropping down from the barrel. And once again, this little notch here is where this needs to fit through. And this little plunger here on some guns, like this one, is very difficult to slide in. So I have this uh, Brown Ellis tool that allows me to do that fairly effortlessly. So let's get the slide stop back in. Okay, it's through the bushing. I have it somewhat lined up with this plunger. Now I'm going to move the slide to the notch. And it's back in. That's disassembly and reassembly of the Colt 1911. Okay, your last step before packing this guy away is to lightly oil everything on the outside. Get all your fingerprints and all that stuff off of there. So I've got a little bit of oil here. I hope this has been helpful. I know when I first got my hands on one of these, all I knew to do was run a swab down the barrel. So this is a good way to keep your gun clean. I recommend it every time you shoot it, it at least take the slide off and clean the barrel. And of course, remember, check and see if it's loaded. Thanks.